Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Lawrence Plays Factorio Angel Bobs. I've not had done an enormous amount since the last episode, but there are a few things that I have done that are, I think are reasonably interesting. So the first most obvious one that you've probably noticed already, at least if you've been um, obsessing over this anything like as much as I have, is that I've now freed up this, air, or this big area over here, and that's because I've got plans for it. So what I'm doing is I've started building up this... Um, oops this this uh, facility over here where I'm getting where I've got bigger train stations in here that are picking that are going to be picking up ores. this one's going to be picking up um, sapphire although I've noticed there's a mine available down here so I'm going to be digging up a load of it first and, and passing it through but, but once that runs out we'll bring it in by train as well uh, future proofing and all that and the idea is this is going to produce all the different types of processed sapphire so here we've got things like we're crushing it here then we're going to be floating it and then purifying it and I've had a quick look and it turns out that after um, chunking and then crystallizing the purified one isn't actually that useful because there's only one recipe that uses it and it just produces a, a load of um, a load of different ores and now that I'm starting to use the more directed methods of producing things there's no point in actually doing this one so I'm not going to worry about doing the final processing step here and making purified sapphire but the idea is, with this, I can then make a bus running up and down here that's going to have, eventually, all of the different um, ores in all of the different states. So we're going to have sapphire, um, sapphire crushed sapphire, chunked sapphire, and crystals of sapphire on three different belt belts over here. And then the same with Jeevalite from this one, although it's not programmed up to produce the right things yet. Although I, I do have a mine for it, because there's this convenient patch here again. And then ca basically carrying on and having all of them down here. Now I've only done four so far, because then I ran out of space, but an enormous quantity of landfill should, should sort this bit, this bit out. Then, once that's done, over here on the other side, I can start actually processing those different things and using all of the um, catalyst type recipes that will produce the very specific things that I need. So the idea is from, from this one, the sapphire and the jeevalite, I can mix the crushed versions of those in a, in a facility here and produce iron ingots. And those iron ingots, I can then either turn into iron metal, but I've got, I've got a facility down here that's doing that reasonably well. Where is it? Here, this one. Um, although not quite fast enough, as you can see, this is basically empty. I'm, I'm, I am using it a lot faster than I was before. But part of the reason I'm having trouble here is because a good half of the production is being taken off down here and being turned into steel. So maybe if I take the steel demand away from here then the iron will be able to keep up. We'll, we'll, we'll see about that. But what I plan to do is up here we'll, I'll, I'll be producing the, um, the iron ingots and then turning them into steel in a thing over here and doing that with a full flow from here. And if I decide, and if I discover I need more, then I can add in extra modules into it. I reckon. So there's going to be quite a lot of um, production of steel going on here, and with the bigger inputs, and hopefully this will allow me to process more, uh, more of the metals as well. Well, but we'll we'll see how that goes. I think I may need to feed or use faster belts here as well, because I think this was all designed for the Mark Ones or the Mark Twos of all of these machines, and I'm now on to Mark Threes everywhere. So it's going to be produ use, uh, producing it a bit faster. And if it's just crushed as well, then I can put in easily put in more of these. So this this line of crushers could extend all the way across here if I wanted to, um, ignoring these pipes. Or I could put in more underneath here in this gap. Or I can, I can I'm going to be able to squeeze more in without too much difficulty. So I reckon I should be able to produce a lot of steel through this. And because that that is still a thing that I'm very very short of. If I go back down here and have a look at my okay, there's there is a train in at the moment, but. There's no spare in this in this warehouse, so I'm using it up for the science and on down the bus about as fast as I'm producing it. So I do still need a lot more steel, but hopefully that's what this will get me. At the very least, I'll have two facilities producing it, and that'll double the throughput, even even if this one's no better than the other one. But I'm hoping that this one will allow me to do all of the different metals in one area and just keep things a bit tidier and a bit easier to think about. There's some gas in here and some coal as well, but I'll probably ignore those. I'm sort of thinking that I want to have some areas where I'm doing building and just ignore any ore patches underneath them. Although I've clearly ignored that with these two here, but they were just so convenient I couldn't resist. So the other thing that I'm having problems with is plastic. And so if we look over here, um, yeah, so on here there's basically no red and blue circuits coming through. I'm not even sure which belts. Oh, this, this belt and this belt. There should, these machines should be producing red and blue circuits, like the clappers, and I need them for producing all the stuff to build up that facility over there. But the problem is, I don't have any transistors. Here we go, transistors, because there's no plastic coming in here. 
And that, I don't know, I went in and fiddled with the plastic a bit um, earlier. And it, where is it? It's being produced, as you can see. It's, it's coming out at a, well, a trickle, to be quite honest. Um, there's now about 10, okay, there's about 10,000 in here. So it's time for a train to arrive and pick it all up. But it's taking forever to produce that much. So I went in and I had a look to see if there was anything I could do, and I discovered that the um, which one's this gas condensate? This one, which I, I had been burning off, you actually can, and I still am. That's a bit of a waste. Um, you can still you can actually turn that into further um, further plastics by uh, using this facility, which seems to have gone to sleep. I wonder why. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go and have a look at this. Um, oh, there's it's full of. The output of naphtha is full and I think there's a way to turn that into plastic as well so yeah I'm gonna need to go over here and embiggen this whole system just generally get it doing more stuff so the naphtha gets used somewhere ah down here blimey it's filled up one of these and it should get turned into um, into solid fuel I think yes here we go it turns into solid fuel here but we've got more solid fuel than we know what to do with and the um, the white the white equivalent as well, uh, so yeah, it's that's kind of stopped. So I'm going to need to go in and find a way to turn the uh, turn the naphtha into into plastic, and I'm pretty sure that is possible. <laughs> or I could just burn it all up as flamethrower. Okay, so I need to get polyethylene gas, which is actually uh, uh, yeah, this this is another de deep delve into the um, the mysteries of. Angels, Angels Petrochem. So I'm not going to talk about that now because my brain will melt. But this facility here is producing so much of it that I feel I definitely should be using it for something. And there's a reasonable chance that I've got that gas in here anyway, or at least one of the precursors to it. Methanol, ethane. I've forgotten what I needed. Eth ethylene. Got ethane, but not ethylene. Um, ethanol. Oh dear. Yeah. Okay. This is get, this is getting complicated. It may be a fairly big job to start to produce this. Um, okay. This all comes from biological stuff. There are other ways. Oh, ethane. Here we go. Ethane gas and steam. Steam. I've got ethane gas. I've got. Okay. So we'll we'll do that from this. We'll use that to produce the ethylene and. And then the blue metal catalyst, which is oh, it's the uh, oh, okay, that's going to be a challenge. I'm going to need to find some gold ore as well, but that might um, I should be able to produce that from here with a little bit of effort. Um, <laughs> this feels like a bit of a circular dependency at the moment, but we'll see how that goes. But it's I say circular dependency. Yes, I need I need this to be running in order to get the plastic running, in order to get the red circuits, in order to get more machines for this. But the plastic is running slowly at the moment, so it's it's not a, it's not too serious a problem because I can get the um, I can get some plastic over here. In fact, we we did we just did here it is. So the red yes the red circuits are flowing again. So we're going to be getting some, some where are they here we go some machines out of here. Are the blue circuits flowing as well. No, what's wrong with that? Oh, I'm out of gold plate. So there's another reason I need gold. And that's this system down here is probably gummed up by something. Yeah, that, well, that one's a bit gummed up. And, uh, yeah, and that one too. So we're not producing the gold ore as fast as we need. And the gold plates as well, for that matter, as fast as we need to. I think gold plates all the way over on the left. For certain values of all the way over. Here we go. Your gold ingots, sorry. Yeah, there's like 600 in there. Why is this stopped? Have I. Mm, it's just not coming through. Um, yeah, that's something. Oh, this has stopped as well. Right, there are. Uh, probably because this is full. Right, okay, so there are, there are many, many problems. <laughs> but. Some of them are gold related, so I need to find a way of producing gold over in my new metal facility, and for both for the ore and for the for the plates, for the ingots, sorry, because I yeah, so that's that's going to be fun. Hmm. Right, so I think I have a to-do list coming up here. 
We need more gold in order to get gold ingots for blue circuits and uh, gold ore for the blue catalyst plate, um, blue catalysts. But we need the blue catalysts in order to get the plastic for the, well, for all the for the advanced circuits and the very advanced circuits. And we need all of that in order to get this built up in a reasonable amount of time, in order to start getting more steel and the gold and everything else we need. So, yeah, this is going to be interesting. There's going to be quite a lot to do here, I think. Um, but that's going to keep me busy over the next, well, next while. Let's see, is there anything else I've done? It did take me an embarrassingly long time to clear all of this out. Um, I thought I'd try and be a bit clever and not do the sort of the... So up here, I built a, I built a railway line across here, shelled the ever-loving wasp name out of this area, and then and then built, ran a train across here in order to sort of try and get a chunk at a time. Over here, I tried to be a bit cleverer and just try and claim the whole lot in one go, moving the train around and building up little outposts around it every so often. That didn't go quite as well. I mean, it, it might have been quicker in the long run, especially given this is a funny shape. But it took quite a lot of effort and kept, well, I kept getting blown up and stuff. I did discover, however, that the um, the tanks that I've now managed to research, let's have a look for them. Yes, the, yes, this sort of tank for once. Um, if, oh, here we go, this purple tank, Mark II tank, um, is actually, you can actually start putting plasma tur turrets in that. And, it's, and when you do, it's absolutely lethal. The only problem is, like everything else plasma, it's also really, really keen on the M on the friendly fire. It's all a bit sort of blue on blue. So I, I did try this a couple of times. And if you're out just driving around in it, it's great until the batteries all run out. And it's absolutely lethal against the biters. And can you, you, it, it's at the point where I actually feel I can go out and blow the biters up all, all by myself. But if you get anywhere near any of your other stuff, it's just too dangerous. I, blew up my bit construction my artillery train at least well more times than I care to think about with it and eventually I got it blown up because the batteries ran out and I got trapped but it went quite well until that point <laughs> so yeah they're actually quite good I shall probably build myself another one of those next time I go out hunting but as it is I've got quite a lot of space to play with here part of me wants to put another wall across down here just to complete this straight line across here but I think that's probably going to wait a while. I, either until I get fed up with building things and want to go off and blow some stuff up. Or just until I, until I actually need the space. But for now, I think things are going quite well. I have a bit of a concern that some of my mines are going to start running out fairly soon. So that's part of the reason that I've, with, with this facility over here, I've built much, much bigger train stations. With the idea that I won't have these trains working on the same network as the other trains. So there'll be a completely separate set of mines for all of the ores so let's let's count we've got uh one stereotype there that's one crotinium there two and the stereotype there's a little sapphire right there that'll probably do for three that rubite's a bit too small i don't really want to use that one. Oh, there's one there that's okay that's four i think so that's bobmonium and jeevalite left to find now, there's a nice jeevalite patch there. That's not too far outside the um, perimeter, so I could get that one without too much difficulty. And that's within all of this area is in with art is within artillery range of this bit of track, I think. Um, oh, and there's some bobmonium there, but that's a bit harder to get to. Oh, there's some down. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I could pick up these patches down here. I mean, they're in an area that I'm planning to build on eventually. But oh, and there's a nice big rubite as well. So yeah, I think with those. I get those those two to start with, and maybe that one as well. That's two, three, four, five, and six. Yeah, that should keep me going for a little while. And there's another sapphire there if I if I do need a bit more, and that won't be too difficult to get either. So I'll build all of those up with these bigger trains, and these ones I've designed to have um, what is this? Four locomotives? Yes, four locomotives, and then one, two, three, four, five, eight. Uh, wagons on the back of it so this is going to bring in four times as much ore at a time and I shall exclusively use the massive uh, Mark 3 wagons that I'm building over here 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 yes it is here one mark one mark two I'm not building the mark threes yet I'll have to have to go in and do that but that hopefully won't be too bad um, it's getting a bit tangled around here I should have built this up better but you know I'll get that working at some point so those are my plans over the next um, while. This is going to take a while to get working, I think, but it should it shouldn't be too much of a hassle, I don't think. It, it's it's all relatively straightforward stuff. I just need to get it working. 
And then there's the plastic. <laughs> wish, wish me luck with the plastic. <laughs> I'll definitely need it. So, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll show you what I've been up to then. Hopefully I'll have a bit more of this built up. I'll see you then.